jump, jump, jump. Hey guys, Ryu Karat here. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last part, I spent a lot of time complaining about how long this castle is. And in this part, it's time to take on the boss. Gee, I wonder who it could be. Like, maybe it's Bowser. Oh. You guys ready? Hey, Black, what are you doing? Hurry, man, shake a leg. Ow, my shell, get off. Wait, wait a minute. Whoa! Oh, for the love of... What are you doing, Yellow? That doesn't look cool at all. Okay, hang on. I'm ready, Red. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention was... In the last two... Like, two parts ago, I... Said... I... Wanted to see if... You got something for... Jumping over that... Fire bar so many times. In actuality, it just disappears and you get several coins. Finally, let's do this. Remember to look cool, guys. Yeah! Oh my god, it's Bowser! Hey, Bowser, you've gotten 3D since the last time I saw you. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Mario. <laughs> the strongest and the coolest. Behold the glory that is the great evil King Bowser. It's time for me to beat these foolish out of the ideas out of you, saving Princess Peach. Please watch this and weep. But seriously, Bowser, you've gotten 3D since I saw you last. And you're kind of blocky. That's amazing. You've been working out or something? Bowser? But he looks kind of lame. I mean, he's lame anyway, but... Max HP 10, attack power 1, defense power 1. Hang on. Does Bowser really look like this? I always imagined him looking, well, a lot scarier. Are you kidding me? Look at those eyes! I mean, I know it's just a button, but seriously, it's terrifying. Anyways, if, if you're going to use Power Bounce in this boss, then here's the time to do it. Uh, or maybe not, because it apparently has defense. Whatever, this is a pretty lame boss, however. Wait, did, doesn't Goombar... Oh, wait, no, I used his attack to... Um... Hit... To tattle it. Anyways, who should I use? Let's use Bombad. Oh man, and to even more of a bonus of to Bowser, he's got wheels now. I mean, seriously, wheels? How am I supposed to defeat that? I don't know. I may be screwed here. Anyways. But yeah, I don't... As I recall, the next part of this fight isn't that bad, so I, I think I'm just gonna use my FP here. And MASH! Yeah, what now? Your block punch can't hurt me forever. <laughs> Mario really thinks that we're King Bowser. Shh, Mario will hear us. Oh no! That costume was perfect! Bowser loved it! Now, now, as this costume explodes, just watch carefully. If you saw, there was a, like a little picture of Princess Peach inside the feed or something. Here come the Koopa Bros! Oh, yeah, we get to see their special attack now. Can't wait to see it. Oh, wait, the Mario still has to go. Alright, so what you want to do here is hit them from the side, and it'll cause them to lose their balance. But I think you actually have to hit them twice. Whoa! We're going on... Oh, I guess not. 
Oh, guess so. The Koopa Bro Special Super Spinning Attack! Sweet, I can't wait to see it! I mean, look, it looked all shiny and it caused Bowser to have an orgasm. Who wouldn't want to see it? Wow. That's really... lame. Yeah. I feel kind of ripped off, viewers. I really, really do. Anyways, just hit him again. Whoa! We're going over! Alright, this should cause them to fall. And... Alright, and they'll basically be unable to fight for a few turns, just like a regular Koopa. Wait, they're Ninja Koopas? Okay, Nintendo, you could have at least tried to make it less obvious that these guys... If I haven't said it before, these guys are supposed to be based on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Anyways, let's, um... And apparently, they have low HP, so... But this one should last longer. Not knocked over. Alright, let's see how much power they have. Or they could just stack up again. Wow, it's even lamer when there's less of them. It's not shiny enough. I, I still have to say, I feel really ripped off. But yeah, about that pic pr picture of Princess Peach, I'll probably edit it so that uh, you can see the frame where it shows the picture. But first, I gotta defeat these guys. And I love how uh, they actually seem concerned about getting back up. I mean, with regular Koopas, they're like, eh, I'm falling over. I don't feel like getting back up. Speaking of which, I recently heard that the Life Alert people actually have a copyright of the phrase, Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. I mean, really? Are they honestly concerned about people using that phrase? Because, to me, it doesn't seem like it would be a really big deal. But anyways, yeah, these Koopas actually seem like they're concerned about getting back up, unlike the other ones. <laughs> oh wait, for a second I thought I, that it, he went through me, so I thought he missed somehow. Even though that's not actually possible in this game. Unless I'm in danger and I have the close call badge. But seriously, I thought... For a second I thought that I've screwed them over so much that he actually missed! But anyways, this should take care of him. Well, not this, but this. Wait, did... What, what, what was with how Bombette ran over there? She was like... Meow! I mean, I wasn't watching carefully, so I might be mistaken, but... Yeah, it looked like she just sprinted over there. Anyways, so I've upgraded HP once and FP once, so... Guess now I'll do BP. Whoa! Oh, yeah, see, there's, there's the picture. Hey, hello? Someone let us out of here! Wait, when did that cell get patched up? And look, we have a light. And yes! I've done it! I've finally done it! After... 12 grueling episodes, I finally rescued the epic mustache! Also, I rescued a star. End of chapter! And 
So Mario and friends beat the Koopa Bros at their fortress and rescued their first star spirit. Still, six star spirits remain imprisoned and they must save them as quickly as they can. The future of the Mushroom Kingdom, Star Haven, and of course Princess Peach lies in the hands of Mario and his new friends. Their adventure has just begun. And after every chapter, you get a segment where you play as Princess Peach for a short time. I wonder what Mario is doing right now. I wonder if he's hurt. I'm so worried about him. He'll be alright, Princess. Why, I bet he's saving some star spirits right now. Some? Do you really think Bowser would be stupid enough to keep them all in one place? Well, actually, no. He is pretty stupid. Yes, you're right, Twink. I must be strong. I need to concentrate on finding a way out of here. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that being in the sky. No, well, actually, you know, she has that parasol that she uses to survive uh, huge falls all the time. Like, seriously, why doesn't she just jump out the window with the parasol? I mean, it's a win-win situation. Like... If she uses the parasol successfully, she'll survive, and if she doesn't use it successfully, she'll be dead and Bowser can't kidnap her anymore. You know, it's a win-win situation. Cool, great idea. Anyways, the secret exit she was probably just talking about is right here. Well, actually, it's just the switch, which they were too lazy to put in an actual animation for her to press the switch, so instead she just jumps. But who am I kidding? That's how you do everything else in the Mushroom Kingdom! Anyways, then you press this switch, and the entire thing turns around. And now no one will question the fact that the entire wall is a completely different color in that one particular spot. Hey, look at this! It looks like somebody left a private diary just lying around. Should we read it? Well, I mean, it looks like either way I'm going to. Oh, you like doing this sort of thing, do you? Tisk tisk. Okay then, very quietly. Let's see. Day, circle, divided by circle, month, star. What? I'm sorry, I thought the days of the week were Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I didn't know there was a circle divided by circle. Today I... Today I went to Star Haven and stole the Star Rod. Now I'm invincible. Cool! You know, Bowser is probably the only person who could realistically just say cool about being invincible. I also captured those seven star spirits, so they won't annoy me anymore. They didn't annoy you, they ignored you. It was a hard day's work, and I'm feeling pretty pushed. Dinner was nice, but a bit bland. Well, why didn't you use your star rod to make it less bland? I feel like I might know the person who wrote this. Should we read more? Yes. Okay, let's continue. Day circle divided by X month star. What is with these days? Seriously, what is with these days? Wait, wait, let me guess. The next day is circle divided by square. Would this be correct? Today was great, Diary! I used my castle to lift Princess Peach's castle way up into the sky! Then I barged into Peach's castle and beat up Mario! Yeah, unbelievable, I know! So fun! And there's more! After that, I kidnapped Princess Peach! I couldn't be happier, Diary! I hope she likes me! Well, you know, I just demonstrated that she could clearly escape using her parasol. So yeah, she must like you, since she's not doing that. 
Princess Peach, this is Bowser's diary! Ah! What do we do? Should we read more? Well, you know, I think it might help. Shit, I was wrong! Day X divided by X. Month star, Sunny. Well, the Koopa Bros got beaten by Mario Diary. He even set free that stupid star spirit I kept there. And he even set free the star spirit's mustache! I'm so mad that I can barely write! Oh, I'm Mario. I'm so big and strong and good and helpful. I hate him, but I'm not worried. There's no way Mario can save the star spirit being held in dry, dry ruins. To do that, he'd have to solve the mystery of the sand and then find dry, dry ruins in the dry, dry desert. Do they really need to have the word dry there twice? How would he even know to go to the desert anyway? So I'm not worried. In fact, I'm so calm, I'm gonna go to bed now. Dry Dry Ruins is in the middle of Dry Dry Desert. One of the Revere Star Spirits is being held there. Twink, do you think you could find Mario and tell him that? Yes, of course, Princess Peach. I'll find Mario right away. Hmm? Oh no, I can't believe I left my secret diary lying out. Well, you know, now maybe Princess Peach could teach you days. You know, I don't think days are a shape divided by another shape. What? 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 What's the princess doing here? Ah, you little sneak! You read my diary! Well, I mean, it's not really sneaking. You kind of just left it there. And I'm glad he doesn't notice that part of the wall that's a completely different color. King Bowser, is there a problem? You're the worst guards ever! Take Princess Peach back to her room! IMMEDIATELY! Yes, sir. Straight away. Forgive us, sir. No! Put me down! And they just carry her off. And Twink's like... Really? And then he just smiles again, like he's suddenly happy. Mario, I believe you'll save us all, just like you just saved my mustache. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate all you've done. Thank you. Since you have freed me from my prison, the seal on my power is broken, and I will recover it little by little. As long as an ounce of power remains in me, I shall help you. And sparklies! Mario can now use the Star Spirit's power in battle. Using the, a star power requires star energy. Would you like to listen while I tell you how to use star powers and star energy? Sure, why not? Allow me to explain. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize I had to battle you over it. Ugh. Well, I guess I'll show this in the next part. See you then.